The eyes tell you this baby is still getting used to this brand new world. And over the last eight weeks, mum, Alla, has been showing her new arrival the way. Ai Ai's are notoriously shy animals, so when she finally brought her baby out to pose for these snaps, staff were overwhelmed. That's the, probably the only third time that we maybe saw the baby. Um, it's very strong. It's got a good set of lungs on it. We've heard it, um, we've heard it eking. It's a, a noise that the Ai Ai's make, but it's, it's not yet at the stage where it's walking around the enclosure. Mum's still having to, to hold baby in, in her mouth. And when this baby is ready, it'll join a family of six IIs living here. But this success story stems from the park's long history of conservation. Is it OK? I mean, is it yeah, not fine, but it's... In the 1990s, Gerald Darrell travelled to Madagascar to find and rescue this species from extinction. It came out of its box and we could see its huge ears and eyes and the soft black fur tipped with silver. He found half a dozen on his trip and brought them back to Jersey. Years later, this furry family continues to grow and so does the park's passion for preservation. His aim was for this, for, to breed and have, um, have a safeguard species. In uh, Madagascar, they are, they are threatened, as well as education. Um, this is, the breeding programme is a big part of it and yeah, it's amazing. This is as close as we can get to this baby today. It's still very young, so it's really important that it stays in the dark, so we don't want to take any chances with our camera. But I'm told progress is good, and within a few months, it should be ready to join the rest of its family in here. But for now, this mum and baby are probably the only ones happy to be out of the August sunshine. Daniel Skip, ITV News.